Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very important concept that how you can find the HCF of an algebraic expression. Before this we have already seen how you can find the HCF of any given numbers in our previous lectures. So we, as we are talking about the algebraic expressions, so we have to check how you can find the HCF of any expression that consists of variables and constants. Okay, so what is HCF? We will start from the concept. HCF is the common vector of highest power of two or more algebraic expression. Now you have to see that there are two things important in finding the HCF of an algebraic expression. One is the common factor. That is, you have to first find the common factors of all the algebraic expression. And then out of those common factors, the important thing is the that factor that is having a highest power. You have to pick the factor that is having a highest power. You, you need not to include all the factors that are common. You have to choose only the factor that is having a highest power. So these two things are very important in finding the HCF of the algebraic expression and that's then and, and after finding that uh, uh, you need not to find anything other important. Okay, so we will start from the concept of how you can find the HCF of an algebraic expression. So what are the methods that you can use in order to find the HCF of, HCF of an algebraic expression? There are two methods that we will discuss in order to find the HCF. One is by factorization and the second one is by division or you can say by successive division method. Okay, These are the two methods that we will use in order to find the HCF of an algebraic expression and we will use different examples in order to understand the methods easily. So let's start from the uh, from first by factorization and then by division. First of all we will check how you can find HCF by factorization. So in order to find the HCF, uh, before that we have to take an example so you can have the concept how you can apply it. Okay, so we have an example that is, so this these are the three algebraic expressions of which HCF we are going to find. We will uh, find the factors of each expression one by one by using the different me methods depends on the expression. Different methods of factorization we have already discussed. Now it is clear from here that we can write this equation as x square minus 3 square. Now by using the identity of a square minus b square, what is that identity we will write here? a square minus b square is equals to a plus b into a minus b. So we can also write this expression as x plus 3 and x minus 3. So this is the fact, uh, these are the factors of the given expression. Next we have x square plus 6x minus 27. We have to check that uh, uh, what are the uh, factors of 27. 27 have the factors as we can write 3 9s are 27 or 9 3s are 27. Those factors that when add or subtract will give you with this plus 6. Okay, so we can take 3 into 9 or 9 into 3, but it depends what sign we have to use in order to get 6. Now, if we use this pair, we have to put minus with either with 3 or 9. If we put with 3, then we will get plus 6. If we put the minus 9, uh, the si minus sign with 9, then we get we will get minus 6. So we have to take this pair in a way that we will put the minus sign with 3 plus the, the uh, positive sign with 9. Then we will get what? 6. So this is how we can make, uh, we can break this 6x. We can replace it like x square minus 3x plus 9x minus 27 okay then we will take the common here x x minus 3 plus 9 will be common then x minus 3 now from the both the terms you will see which is the common factor we will factor out that the common factor that is x minus 3 
and it can be written as x minus 3 into x plus 9. So these are the factors of the given expression. Then we have to check. So first we check the common factor in all expressions. Then we have to pick the factor that is having the highest. So we can say the CF of this uh, of all the three expression comes out as x minus 3. So this is the HCF of all the three algebraic expressions. Now we will see how you can find the HCF by division method. We will use the HCF by division method at places where the, uh, the expressions are quite complex. Now we will discuss the HCF by division method uh, for finding the uh, for finding the HCF of an algebraic expression. Okay, so the example is you have to find the HCF of x cube plus 3x square minus 16x plus 12 and x cube plus x square minus 10x plus 8. Let's do it by division method. You can also call it a successive division method. How we can do that? We have to write like this. The uh, uh, write one expression inside the first expression most mostly used to be written inside 12 and then x cube plus x square minus 10x plus 8. So in order to find the um, in order to find the quotient we have to start by taking the first term of the expression from here and the first term from here in that so that we can find what should be the first quotient. So we will divide them as x cube over x cube and it will be equal to 1. It means you have to put 1 here and multiply this 1 with the whole divisor. So we can write as 1 into x cube. It will be x cube plus x square minus 10x plus 8. We will solve it out as the changing the sign first. And then it will be cancelled out and plus 3x square minus x square will be 2x square. Uh, minus 16x plus 10x will be minus 6x and, and 12 plus 12 minus 8 will be plus 4. So we can take the common here. That it is clear from here that if we take the common it will be more simplified. So 2 will be common and x square minus 3x plus 2. Now keep one thing is mind in, my, in mind that we have to drop this 2 or we have to ignore 2 as this is not the common in both polynomials. So you have to check that you cannot proceed further for division from here because the power here is smaller as compared to the power of this. So as we came across such situation, you have to use the successive division method in which you make this remainder. You can say for the time being, this is a remainder as the divisor. And you have to put x cube, the divisor, in, uh, and you have to make the divisor as the dividend. So x cube plus x square minus 10x plus 8 will come here. So we will start dividing from here. x square minus 3x plus 2. Now, again, we have to use the same method. We have to divide this and this term. x cube over x square will give you with x. Okay. So we will write. Um, x here so x square into x will be x cube minus 3x square plus 2x then it will be cancelled out and x square plus 3x square 4x square minus 12x plus 8 now we have to see that these two powers are same it means we can go further for the division so we, we can multiply it with 4 so that we can have the uh, exact uh, we can have the uh, remainder 0 so plus 4 it will give you 4x square minus 12x plus 8 and you will get a remainder of 0 so this is how we can solve uh, the uh, an algebraic expression for xcf and got the xcf by using the division by the, using the division method so here we have got the, so what is the xcf here 
let's write it down hcf here is x square minus 3x plus 2 so this is how you can find the hcf by division method and we have also seen that here by factorization method thank you Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.